The Wyoming Bureau of Land Management announces a half-million-dollar investment to repair public lands. We begin this trip around Wyoming with details on the project. With an investment from the Inflation Reduction Act, the Bureau of Land Management has started working on repairing public lands impacted by erosion near the town of LaBarge. The half a million dollars will also help remove a blocked, non-functioning stock pond dam and rebuild channels to bring back stream banks with numerous small water channels to help reduce sediment delivery into the Upper Green River. To learn more about the greater LaBarge restoration landscape, you can visit yourwyominglink.com. For drivers in Teton County, YDOT and construction crews will begin conducting night work on the Snake River Bridge of Wyoming Highway 22 Tuesday and Wednesday from 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Crews will install roadside signage. Due to limited workspace near the bridge, the eastbound lane will close and traffic will run one way from the levee access to the west of the Wildlife Bridge. Flaggers will help control traffic during the sign installation. Travelers on Interstate 80 just west of Laramie may have noticed traffic delays Tuesday morning due to a super load that was on the move from Laramie to Arlington. YDOT says after Arlington, the super load is heading to Rock River and will end in Medicine Bow on Wednesday. In Gillette, the police department is looking for the public's help in solving a theft reported earlier this month. Gillette police say on August 5th, a bicycle was reported stolen from the Campbell County Public Library. The unknown person shown in the camera footage on your screen was seen taking the $300 Windsor black and green mountain bike. If you have any information on the crime, call the number on your screen. And that's it for today's trip around Wyoming.